So let's crack on. Now, we're going to kick off with Grind Time and not having discussed it much in the past, Darren thought our wonderful viewers might like to get his take on migration. <laughs> off you go, Darren. Yes, that's right, ladies and gents. Brace yourselves. Sir Keir fence-sitter Starmer has finally made a move. He's dismounted his splintered backside to grace us with Labour's so-called master plan to halt the migrant boats. And who's by his side? None other than Yvette Refugees Welcome, just not in my house, Cooper. Now hold on to your hats because you won't believe this. They want to resurrect a Dublin Convention style deal with Brussels. The good old family reunion scheme where asylum seekers ping pong between Britain and the EU like a bureaucratic game of hot potato. But let's rewind to 2020, shall we? Under that same Dublin Convention, Britain tried to offload a whopping 8,502 illegal migrants back to EU countries. And guess how many Brussels accepted? A measly 105. Meanwhile, I'm sure you can guess this next bit, Soft Touch Britain, the world's most generous doormat, rolled out the red carpet for 882 asylum seekers from the EU. So let's get this absolutely straight. I didn't vote leave and campaign for it for Sir Wishy-Washy Keith to drag us back into the EU's bureaucratic quagmire. If this is Labour's grand idea, then I've got a bridge to sell you, and it's not the Channel Tunnel. <laughs> Frankly, I don't want my country to become a dumping ground for any <clears throat> boat migrants. You heard that right, any. What planet is Starmer living on? With a housing crisis, with a healthcare crisis, with an education crisis, and this clown wants to make them worse. Wake up, Britain. Starmer's offering empty promises and red tape, all designed to make us Brussels obedient lapdog on a very short EU leash. <laughs> Benjamin Butterworth, I'll start with you. I'm assuming you looked at that and thought it was the best plan you'd ever heard. Well, at least it actually is a plan rather than the bluster and piffle that Suella Braveman comes out with. You know, she came up with Rwanda. Cost us a fortune, about 120 million quid. Nobody's gone there. She never shuts up about stop the boats, stop the boats. The boats are still coming in greater numbers. All it took was, was some sunny weather and thousands of them came over and risked their lives and risked our security in just a few days. So Keir Starmer has come forward and say, actually, let's be adults, right? Right? Let's talk to the French. Let's talk to the EU. Let's come up with a deal which says how many people we take and how many people we're going to send back. Now, the idea that you're sitting down, say, oh, that doesn't work. We'll take all these immigrants. Mate, we're taking all the immigrants already. At least he's got an idea. Exactly. So I don't want us to take any of them. But so then what do you do land. for people just, like us? You, you, just, you can't just force them back to France because it, the real world doesn't work like that. Australia I, did. I know you supported Brexit, so you love your fantasies. But in reality, you but can't Benjamin, just fly thousands of people Benjamin, to Paris. I'm sorry. The plan that Keir Starmer has come up with, he talks about talking to the French, negotiating a return deal, um, being at the heart of Europol, having a, a connected relationship and all of that stuff. These are all things that the government is either already doing or is trying to do. The only difference between Keir Starmer's plan and what the government are trying to do is that the government also wants a deterrent in the, in the form of the Rwanda plan and they don't want to be part of Europol. That clearly Otherwise, didn't work. Yeah, but the point is the difference between the plans also, is nothing. Also, so can what's I, your issue with the government's plan? Can I just say that there is the minor issue... That is to say that the European Union don't want to negotiate in this way with the UK government. Officials have already said that it's delusional that Keir Starmer wants to negotiate to sort of rejoin some kind of EU resettlement scheme. If you know what's going on on the continent at the moment, you've got Poland who want a referendum on the migration schemes, on these quotas for asylum seekers. You've got Germany backing out of the resettlement yeah. scheme because they don't want to take too many people from Italy exactly. because Italy aren't uh, playing, you know, in, in the, the same they're not doing what Germany want, essentially. There really is a huge battle going on on the continent that Keir Starmer seems naive to, ignorant to. I don't know what's going on, but we don't want to be joining that scheme again. That's for sure. It's an absolute mess. And the thing is that you bitch and moan about the fact that we've got no houses in this country and that old people are millionaires or whatever rubbish you're going to spout later on, when actually we've got nowhere to house these people, Benjamin. So where are you going to put them once you vote for your Labour government? Can they stay with but you in your lovely little home in London? Darren, you're the one that's being delusional because you're, you're, saying, you're saying that any of these governments actually want 
less migration. That's an absolute nonsense. It's a, the, the illegal immigration is a very convenient thing for the Tories and for Labour. That's why they're not doing anything to stop it. They're dependent. This country's economy is dependent on basically unfettered illegal immigration and legal migration uh, because we're not having enough children and children are very expensive to, to raise. So why not just import workers when they're already fully grown? Dependent and what worries, me, what worries me about that is that actually the, the fact of the matter is we are going to poison democracy in Britain because yeah. people keep voting for border controls and they keep being rejected by the political class. Across Europe as well. In, in Italy, they, they voted for an apparently far-right fascist leader who's going to close the borders. And if anything, she's opened them further. Well, we're stuck in a cycle, aren't we? People aren't having children partly because of the housing crisis. And then we make that uh, crisis even worse by having such large-level immigration. So we are stuck in a bit of a... Uh, but the, well, a bizarre cycle, aren't we, really? I, I just think there's an audacity to say that a Labour government is going to... Because the Labour government has said, Keir Starmer has said, that they will ha allow for a quota of migrants to come into the country as part of doing a deal. I think it is misleading to try and claim that that puts Britain with more refugees or migrants than it would now, when the numbers now are, you know, over a 1,000 a day in some cases. This is just being more honest. But well, 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 be, be about, sorry, Albie, being more honest... I think actually you should be honest with our viewers and be clear that actually, Sir Keir Starmer, this is all just a plan to take us back into the EU. Well, yeah. I mean, you wish he was going to say that because it would make your life much easier. The truth is he's been absolutely crystal clear that that's not going to happen. And I think it'd be a waste of time. Well, to his shadow that foreign secretary hasn't been so clear. David Lammy has made it very clear that what he wants to do is renegotiate our entire trade deal and find closer and closer economic ties with the European Union. Well, I think that Keir Starmer, he resigned from Jeremy Corbyn's cabinet, shadow cabinet, because he said that Brexit was an unmitigated disaster. You, for you everyone. What, do you Emily, think he's changed his mind? Emily, I, don't. I can understand it because Brexit's going so well. Everything is so wonderful. The milk and honey flows everywhere since we left the EU. Why would anyone want can to go back in? Can Conservatives also be honest that we have failed on migration? I oh, think well, it's I don't one thing, with that, Darren, yeah. to say that you think Keir Starmer's plan for migration is bad and won't work. Well, guess what? Our plan for migration isn't working either. So I think we've got to stop this ping pong of you're awful and then you say we're awful back. We're all awful. We need to come up with a solution to the migrant crisis and I don't think either of the parties really have a clue what they're doing. Well, it would help if the solutions got through the courts, I'll just say Well, that. exactly. Leave the ECHR, there's the solution.